Give me three minutes of your time. I'm about to go over why we've been so deceived of what the mark of the beast is and what it actually is. We've been told that what John wrote in Revelation for the mark of the beast was the number 666. But if you actually look at what he wrote down, it was actually these symbols right here. As you can see, the similarity from what John wrote to up above is actually the Arabic phrase Bismillah, which means in the name of Allah. The first symbol is the Muslim cross swords, which is the symbol of the Islamic Jihad. The second symbol is Bismillah, right there, which is Arabic for Allah or in the name of Allah. The third character is the Chigma, which means mark or mark of servitude. These characters are also used in the Shahada, which is the Islamic confession of faith, that the Quran state will be written on a badge of servitude on the day of judgment. When Muslims pray, they pray to the name Ali Akbar. They recite it 111 times for six days and 98 on the seventh. 111 times six is 666. The Bible says that they will take a mark on the forehead or the right hand, but Muslims already do this. They are already wearing marks as Islamic banners of protest and jihad. Muslims have already been conditioned to take this mark. This badge declares slavery because they are a slave to Allah. They pledge allegiance to their master. Allah means an imprecation, curse, cursing, excretion, oath, swearing. The serpent in the Garden of Eden was the first to be cursed. By bearing the name of Allah, you are wearing a curse. This is the sign of Allah, and this is the serpent and the scepter. Muslims stand in the street shouting, Allah Hu Akbar, which means Allah is great. Revelation 12, 9 says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Islams are waiting for Allah to send a promised Messiah. His name is the Mahdi. They say he will ride a white horse with a sword, just like Revelation says our Antichrist will come. They also say the Mahdi will come up with a peace treaty for seven years, just like our Antichrist will do. They also say their Jesus will come and proclaim that we were wrong about him and that he is not the son of man, but that will be our false prophet. They say their Antichrist will come in riding a mule and wage war. That will be our Jesus. I can go into more if y'all want, but this was pretty eye-opening to me. I can't believe how deceived we've been.